Welcome everybody to my channel. In this part, we'll talk about the burnout of the tire. As you can see here, the car that's animated in 3ds Max. I imported to Houdini and I created a source that will emit the tire uh, smoke and uh, collide with the ground with the friction. This is another view. your help I put the file also in my Patreon so thank you for the support there's another view with uh, multiple trials This is light smoke. Okay, we go to the first slide. So it's a pan out tires. So the scene will have a dome light with HDRI map, a grid and the car animating and the small trail of the burning tire behind it so first we will prepare the car <coughs> it was prepared in 3ds max and animated there so i imported a rich proxy so i will have the material also i imported the alembic so i can work with it in the houdini and i set up the model to prepare the to prepare the <coughs> source for the smoke Let's just go through that so this is the background update just the surface to catch <coughs> to catch the shadow and this is the car here this is the shift uh, proxy already animated and this is the Olympic that I unbag <coughs> after unpacking I fuse the bars together added connectivity so we have the islands of the connected pieces then I split and keep the rear wire or rear tire and here I'm preparing the source so we will initially uh, preparing the smoke the smoke will have E so we will prepare the smoke by initiating the source so the rear tire will be prepared and the particle will be scattered on it so we will add velocity to it then we will source it for the simulation so I'm keeping the tire adding time shift so I have only one frame, no animation and I'm adding the scatter on it then using point deform, first connection to the point, second connection to the rest position on the time shift that's frozen. And the last one is the latex for the animated uh, frame, so it will compare between both of them. So we'll have some movement here. So it's copying the movement. This will be faster and easy. Then we added the read time, so we can have in between frame trail sub to compute the velocity we can see it here so this is the velocity for the spinning wheel we added some per noise to it <coughs> and in the pop solver inside We have the ground, we have the car, we'll talk about it, it's a VDB uh, volume. Yeah. Anyway, 
here I'm using half of the velocity adding some drag and some uh, car noise to the outcome so here and I'm emitting 50,000 let's make it 500 and see because my machine will be slow density and volume that's created in the power source then we have the below we smoke let's all make it bigger here uh, I'm closing the uh, uh, minus y and I'm going with the ground a little bit down I'm sourcing the density and increasing the amount also the temperature I'm making it 5 and the velocity at 1 and it's ahead collision already from the VDB this one in the fields I make the dissipation a little bit faster and I'm emitting smoke from the temperature and calculating speeds for the shape so we have bounce that's very long so the smoke will not rise very fast adding disturbance turbulence and shredding and I'm exporting as a VDB with 16 bit float so it is not that hard to hit on the hard disk So 
take time because I'm running another simulation here. After that, when we have the simulation ready, we can render in Redshift by setting up cameras, light, material, and setting up the render. So <coughs> the material we have a background, just a texture with some material and bump mapping, and the smoke. We have a volume. I increase the density to five, and my coefficients to fifty, and the absorption to twenty, and there is no emission. And the out. I'm fetching the pyro simulation. I'm making sure it's uh, completed before we go to the render. And here, one, two, three, four cameras. And I'm making sure in the main that non blocking is removed. water in the next video so this is the outcome so thank you for watching and thank you for the support